Hey, good morning everyone. Um, I've gotten a few requests since I posted a video of what happens to a 500 amp scar fuse at about 300 amps to post the comparison video of one of our 500 amp fuses. So I am going to do that. We're going to put them through the same tests. We're going to monitor their heat and monitor the voltage and see what happens. So first let's get a base level IR. I guess it's not in terms of resistance, it's just the, the DC resistance. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so the IR, or this is about what we expected, it is 0 0.940 matches what we've tested before. Now we're going to do the one of our 500 amp fiberglass fuses. A point. Zero six five point zero six six milliohms, so substantially less here. Um, okay, now that we have that, let's go ahead and take it to the test bench and pull some current through. Okay, so how we're going to test this is I have this scar fuse hooked up. I'm going to hook this clip, which goes to this monitor up to this side of the fuse, directly to the metal blade, so nothing's messing with it. And then I'm going to hook this one up to the other side of the metal blade. So all that we have separating these is the actual central piece of the fuse. Um, let me make sure that we can see this well. Uh -huh. And I'm going to pull a little over 300 amps, I think, is what we're going to end up seeing. Um, again, this is a 500 amp fuse, so it should be able to handle this no problem. And then I'm going to measure the temperature and just see how it handles it. So, okay. Again, um, this is before the fuse and this is after the fuse. We, we do have like a 0 0.01 volt difference, 0 0.02. That's, you know, that's largely inconsequential. Um, just keep that in mind and okay so I'm about to turn on the current and what we're looking for is how much lower this second monitor is than this one that's going to tell us you know how much power we're losing from just this 500 amp fuse if we're pulling 300 amps okay and I am starting the test now So you can see it's well over half a volt. Oh, and the fuse already blew. Um, and if we look at the temperature, we are, it's already at 330 degrees. Um, it's cooling down pretty quickly though. But yeah, so it immediately just jumped up, got super hot. Let's focus on this. And this is so pretty warm. But almost immediately, 330 amps, we blew this fuse. It was, you know, we had huge amounts of voltage drop, like 0.5 right off the beginning, and then it started accelerating even faster. Um, you know, as it heated up and blew almost immediately. So, let me go ahead and get these disconnected. Go ahead now, and I have the 500 amp the voltage fuse. Okay, 
It was still very hot. And so we can see this fuse on... Um, if I need to focus on this. And this... Yeah, it torched it pretty good. avoid the spark on the fuse. So. Oh, they turned the power back on. Using the wrenches of the 300 amp fuse there. Okay, so now, again, this is the, the 500 amp. Low voltage fuse. Okay, so now same deal. We're gonna hook each one up. So this one right to the metal blade. And this one to the other side of the fuse. Now same test. We have the, the 500 amp fuse hooked up here. We're gonna watch for the voltage drop from this one to this one. Um, and then we will measure the temperature and see how it does. I'm going to go ahead and start the test now. So we have less than 0.1 volt drop, 0.300 amps for this fuse. And our temperature on the fuse is 95 degrees. So you're gonna see it, it is red, but that's just because it's the, you know, the hottest thing on the screen, but Looks like it's hanging out at about 104 now. I mean, as you can see, it's just chilling, and as far as voltage drop through the fuse, we are still less than 0.1 volt. And this is what it should be like. This is what happens if you use, you know, a quality 500 amp fuse versus, you know, unfortunately, what SCAR is selling to people. You know, you know, I can just let this sit. You know, it's not going to blow the fuse. The voltage drop isn't escalating. We're sitting at over 350 amps. And this fuse doesn't care. Stop the test. And the final temperature is about 107, 108 degrees on this fuse. So well within normal operating temperature. Um, Yeah, there you have it. So, again, let's take another look at the scar fuse, see if we can get a, 
a good look at it. Nice and crunchy in there, blew up. Versus the, the fiberglass skews. So there you have it guys, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I will leave a link to this fuse down below in the, in the video description. We have these fuses available in 300 amp, 400 amp, 500 amp, and 800 amp. Um, all this a &L style, so you know, if you're running a lot of power, you should really consider you know, switching over to, to some quality components if, you, you know, if you're trying to get every last bit of voltage you can. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know. Have a good one, everyone.